That's it. After 24 hours of traveling, we've arrived. <laughs> This begins a massive, long haul, 24 hour travel day to China. We got a taxi. A little porto. And we are at the airport. Ciao, buon dia, buon lavoro. We are going from the west to the far east. I'm on the flight to Rome. Got our tickets. I hope during this day that you can absorb some of my travel tips and hacks as we make our way on this epic travel journey. Hour one. Now because it's so early, I skip breakfast at home. That's my pro tip, take a shower the night before. Don't take a shower in the morning, skip breakfast. You can sort out food and coffee later at the airport. Ciao, grazie. Now the bad thing about early morning flights, well, you have to wake up early. The good thing is that the airports aren't yet too busy, not yet so backed up, and so you're likely to encounter less flight delays, and perhaps you get a chance to see the sunrise. We have 30 minutes, the flight is boarding now. I love these early morning flights. Here we are, ciao. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hour two. Ah, uh, Rome, the capital of Italy, the cradle of Western civilization, and the home of the Fiumicino Airport. Traveling for me, and I hope for you as well, for us, it's about the process, the journey. Yeah, sure, there's the destination, but I get so much out of the steps along the way, the people I meet as well, and just the hustle and bustle. What I'm trying to say is that we should embrace these long haul flights, these layovers, hour three. All right, we need to make our way from here in Terminal 1. The terminal, sorry. Terminal 3, let's get here. Give yourself enough time to pass through airport border control. Made it through, but that was about 40 minutes, unexpected 40 minutes in line. Remember, I'm on an international flight today, so if you're having an international flight, give yourself that additional time because it could eat into your important lounge time. Now, where is this? Having lounge membership, some sort of lounge membership card in is an important part in traveling and just saving yourself a lot of headache. You can get out of the hustle and bustle of an airport and get into a lounge cocoon atmosphere. There's free food, free drinks. Oh, there we are. Plaza Premium Lounge. I think I have to put my name on the list. Yes. Brown. Brown? Well, there's some bad news with Priority Pass. I know I talk it up a lot. It is a great service because it gets you into all different types of airport lounges. You're second in line to the people that have the frequent flyer card for the particular airline. I think here is Alitalia, there's other flight companies as well. So the card holders like Priority Pass, like Dragon Pass, they're second in line. I gotta wait till 10 o'clock. There are other lounges in this airport, but I'm just gonna wait it out. It's one more hour. Wait, there is another possibility in Terminal 3 at the Rome Airport. There are three different lounges open to Priority Pass. That lounge up there, that's the best one. That's probably why it's called premium. There are a couple of more down here. Let's talk about what you're gonna pay for Priority Pass or these other memberships. Priority Pass costs around 450 euro or dollars a year. I think it's the same with Dragon Pass or Sky Team at the premium top level, unlimited entry and entry with the guest. With some of the credit cards and like mine with Capital One Venture X, you get that access included in the card. The card, you have to pay an annual fee it's around 300 euro, 300 dollars, but the card pays for itself because you get the lounge access all year round. And of course, with the card, with purchases, you also gain travel miles and travel credits. Now, I would not recommend lounge surfing, going around to different lounges and getting lost in the airport, but our flight's not for another few. Entry is right here. Prima Vista. Buongiorno. Uh, oh, priority pass? It was worth the journey. This is great, and there's hardly anyone in here. Nice. To provare. Si, sí, nice, nice Italian porchetta, della riccia, a riccia. Italian porchetta. Della riccia. I'm gonna miss Italy. Get eggs and bacon, sausages, and a barista back there. May I have a cappuccino? Ooh, look at that. Grazie. Oh, yeah. 
I definitely think a lounge pass is worth it if you're spending a lot of time in airports. The food that's included, the privacy, bella vita. Well, you can't beat it. Compare standing in line at a Starbucks for an overpriced scone and a coffee to this. Nah, we have 30 more minutes until the other premium class lounge opens up, hour five. So my tip for lounge access, see if your credit card offers a plan. If not, go to one of the major lounge companies, Dragon Pass, Priority Pass. You won't regret it. Ciao. We're leaving Prima Vista in search of the uh, Plaza Premium. That's, we're going back there for our 10 o'clock appointment. Wow, this is it the magical Plaza Premium Lounge inside the Rome Airport. Plaza Premium, great environment, but I think the food in Prima Vista, it was better over there. Whole wheat with honey on the inside. I think I've eaten too much this morning. Chongqing. Uh, before we take off, I think I should explain. We're going on a 10 hour and 40 minute flight from here in Rome all the way over here to Chongqing. 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 That means we're going to China. Chongqing's in South Central China. Over here is Shanghai and way up here is the capital Beijing. I've been here before. I've been to Shanghai before. I've never been through the Chongqing airport, but that's not our final destination today. We'll get to that later. Right now we have a long haul flight to catch. Hour seven. Chongqing. Let's go. Zoba. Okay, D37. On a to meal sedia. Shishi. Pro tip, always go up and ask, check on your seat because I was able not only to get a window seat, but to get a window seat with two empty seats next to me, which is gonna make a big difference on this long. Thank you very much. A uh, moment, please. I'm yes. sorry. I, I have a new subscriber in Shishi. I, he stopped me after I did my check-in for the seat there and asked for my channel name to subscribe. If you guys haven't yet subscribed, please click down there, subscribe. I'm gonna get him some good images out the window to make it worth this upgrade. Hello. Okay, okay, this one, please. Thank you. This is great. So I have this massive seat, plenty of leg room, two empty seats next to me, massive window to view. I'm gonna be able to see the whole world go. Take some time to freshen up when you're on the plane. I always travel with my own toothbrush and toothpaste and some hand lotion just to stay fresh when you're on a long haul flight. Your body will love you for it and so will your fellow passengers. Identified. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in China. Ni hao. Uh, hour 18. Cleared border control. It took longer than it should have. I forgot to look up my hotel name before I left to come to China and I couldn't get on the internet. Pro tip, get your hotel, your Airbnb name in advance and have it ready so you can write it out on that customs declaration form for when you're entering here. All right. You may have heard of Beijing, Shanghai, but Chongqing, well, Chongqing is the fourth largest Chinese city with an urban population of 16.34 million people as of 2020, behind Shanghai, Beijing, and Shenzhen. It's a sprawling municipality at the confluence of the Yangtze and Jialing rivers in southwestern China. Going back to the journey versus the destination, I've been to China many times throughout the years. I have one of those 10 year visas to visit China. I've been to the Bund in Shanghai, to the Great Wall north of Beijing, but it's the people I've met along the way, the food I've consumed, and the beer, the food and the beer a lot, that's rounded out those trips and made them more memorable and looking back on them more fondly. This has to be one of the slowest luggage belts ever. 
I see it. Okay, going back to Gregor Brown's travel tips and hacks. But first, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed all the hours of traveling so far. Also, hit the super thanks down below if you want to support me and the channel. Getting back to these lounges, and we're looking for another one here in Terminal 3 after we check into our next flight, hour 19. Yeah, for uh, Hainan. I should explain what I'm doing. We're going from here, the mainland of China, flying south, staying within China, but going to the island off the southern coast, Hainan. Oh man, it's been a long day. So many controls. I'm starting to feel it. This pain of a long haul travel day. Drop some comments down below if you know how it feels, if you've had these travel day experiences. It's like 5.30 here in the morning. I haven't slept very well. But the good news is that the Chongqing, there she is right there, the China Southern First Club. Uh, As you know, we're in China, 6.50 in the morning, fresh made noodles, all the garnishings on top. <laughs> what a way to kickstart your day. Look at this right here. Here we go. Oh, spicy, a little bit of kick. Yeah, that spicy kick in the morning. This lounge is not extremely beautiful, but the food, it's great. Now, I got in easily with my priority pass. They recognize it here, even in China. Our next flight from here in Chongqing down to the island of Hainan, a two hour and 10 minute journey. Hour 20. Shi Shi, Zaijin. Ah, oh, sun's starting to come out. Gray skies, a little bit rainy over Chongqing, but we're moving we're on our way down to the island that they call the Hawaii of China. I got the only seat on the plane that doesn't have a window. Upgraded me to the first row. <laughs> and window. <sighs> Hour 22. Uh, it's so nice. She wants to set it up perfect for a photo opportunity. I'm all for it. There she is. She's back. TikTok. <laughs> YouTube. Oh, is this Hainanese rice? Yes, Hainan. Right. Five star, nice. Laid it out, perfect presentation. Really wanted to get it right for you, the YouTube viewer. Thanks, Hainan Airlines. This is amazing sunshine, tropical life. That's it, that's one of my travel hacks. Pack a bag that's easily recognizable. I go with this orange Samsonite and I write my name all over it. So when it's on a conveyor belt like this in a busy airport, you can easily spot it. Also, I have an email newsletter now that I'm putting out with all sorts of travel tips and hacks. You can sign up in the description downstairs. Also consider becoming a YouTube channel member so you get early bird viewing to all of my videos. Also, you get customized little colored emojis that go next to all your comments. Ah, island life, tropical air. And if you wanna know the secrets to airport lounge access, watch that video there. That's it, after 24 hours of traveling, we've arrived.